Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care. In this episode, I would like to explain LASIK, that's L-A-S-E-K, and this is a follow-up to our last episode where we talked about EpiLASIK. Now remember, both of these treatments are surface treatments similar to PRK and much different from LASIK because there is a flap with LASIK and these treatments are just on the front part of the cornea. So with LASIK, we remove the cells from the surface of the eye in a different manner compared to PRK or EpiLASIK. What we do is place a well on the cornea so we can trap alcohol that we place right into the center of this well over top of the cornea. Now what this does, it helps loosen the epithelium or that surface layer that we're looking to remove. Then we remove the alcohol from the eye, taking care, not, uh, taking care so it doesn't spread anywhere else. And then we can use scissors or instruments to open and lift off this epithelium or the surface sheet. Uh, when we do that, then we can push it to the side and then have a nice smooth layer there to apply the laser. Afterwards, then similar to EpiLASIK, we can replace these cells, uh, put them back over the cornea and allow it to heal a little bit like a natural contact lens or get back to its natural shape hopefully more quickly. Still though, we will place a contact lens on the eye to help with comfort and healing. And even though we replace these cells, they do need to be replaced themselves with a natural turnover in order for the patients to end up with their best vision. Now, I would say that LASIK is probably less common than PRK. And one of the uh, questions that we have is when the alcohol is applied to the eye, if it gives any long-term effects on keeping the surface from sticking down like it should. Uh, that's what we wonder, and I think there's been some evidence to point that way. So this could potentially lead to recurrent corneal erosions or a less well-adhered surface. So that's probably one of the reasons it's practiced less and less. Also, uh, like EpiLASIK, we thought that these both would make the patients more comfortable and heal more quickly than PRK. But again, I think the jury is out on this. I don't think there's good evidence that shows one is better than the other as far as that goes. Now it's interesting, LASIK was invented by one of my mentors, Dr. Dimitri Azar, who is now in Chicago, and it was a great thought and a great way to move forward with laser treatment on the eyes, but now I think it's practiced less and less. So if you have any questions about this, please post. We'll be happy to answer them, and we hope to see you again soon next time on A State of Sight.